Thinking positively can really help. I always thought, you know, hey, why not go on Jeopardy? Once I was there, it was like, well, uh, why shouldn't I win? From the legends of Jeopardy to the men and women who battled to become millionaires, join me as I show you eight of the biggest game show winners in history. Eight, John Carpenter. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> You always remember your first million dollar winner, I mean, and how poetic that we start this list with a man that was the first to ever win Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The game show hosted by then Regis Philbin was infinitely simple. You would answer a series of progressively hard questions and get more money the further you go until you reach the one million dollar question. Simple, right? Wrong. The show had gone through episode after episode and not ever gotten a winner. Some had come close, some had to bail out and not risk losing what they had earned. But then, on November 19th, 1999, a man named John Carpenter entered the game and he took each question in stride and didn't use a single one of the game's three lifelines to reach the million dollar question. Then, when he did reach that question, he used a lifeline to call his father just to let him know that he was about to win a million dollars. And he did. Talk about guts, eh? What's ironic about him is twofold. First, he was an IRS agent. Of course he was. And after winning the show, he knew that after the taxes were taking out, his money wouldn't be live happily ever after money. And he was right. He got a lot of fame for the win though, and came back multiple times in various forms to Millionaire, including being one of the three wise men in a lifeline and winning an extra 250K in a champion's matchup. Seven, Curtis Warren. After the success of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, many other game shows popped up to try and take its spot as the top game show. But one that had a very ironic run was a game called Greed. It was ironic because it didn't even last through to its second season, but despite that, Curtis Warren was able to win an astounding $1.4 million from the show. His first run netted him $410,000, an impressive amount to be sure, and then he was brought back for the one and only million dollar tournament and indeed won that million. Warren later appeared on two other game shows and brought his win total to over 1.7 million. Six, Ashley Register. Will it be Ashley, the registered nurse? Yes, you could say she registered a big win when she went onto the unique game show called Duel. Register won $75,000 plus an accumulating $1,720,000 jackpot, giving her the record for most winnings by a female contestant on a game show in US television history, and the record for the most money won by an American who has only ever appeared on one game show. That's right, she went on to a game show once, won a lot of money, and was happy with where she ended up. Nothing wrong with that, right? Five, Ed Tutant. And millionaire's second biggest winner, Ed Tutant. The Tim Duncan of game shows. Here is an entry that needs to be on here because of what it means to game shows. When Ed Tutant went on to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in 2001, he had every intention of doing well, and he was, but then the game literally screwed him over. After missing a question which was later revealed to be flawed, which does happen on game shows occasionally, Tutin was invited back to continue playing for the jackpot at the same level he was playing for during his original appearance. Tutin was able to complete the remaining questions and win a jackpot of 1.86 million, which was due to the nature of this particular game of Millionaire. It just goes to show you that sometimes game shows mess up, but they know how to fix it when they do. 4. Andrew Kravis if you want to talk about controversial entries on this list, then you would have to go with Andrew Kravis, but not because of him, but because of game show politics. You see, in the 2013 version of the Million Second Quiz, Kravis won $326,346,000 in the main competition as one of the top four finalists, then won a $2 million grand prize, which is awesome and we should be happy for him, but... The producers then deliberately rounded up Kravis's total to $2,600,000 as a contrivance to ensure that Kravis's total would break the record then held by then Jeopardy! champion Ken Jennings. 
So he technically got an extra $275,000 just so he could get a record for the show. That's a bit cheap, so to speak. Still, he is a record holder in many respects, and between this and his wins on other shows, he's definitely a top-tier game show winner. 3. James Holzhauer My name is James Holzhauer, and I have won more money in a single day than any contestant in Jeopardy! history. I'm going all in. When James Holzhauer went on to Jeopardy! in a recent year, his job title was not what people would expect from a Jeopardy! contestant. Professional gambler. No, really, that's his job. He lives in Las Vegas and he goes and makes bets on sports games, which you'd think would make him a terrible risk taker in Jeopardy, but that's not the case at all. Holzhauer won $2,464,216 in his 33 episode run on the Daily Jeopardy. In 2019, less than $59,000 short of matching Jennings' record for regular non tournament winnings on that show. Which, if you want to do some quick math, that means that he almost beat Ken Jennings' winnings total during his 74-game streak in basically half the time. And if he had gotten another day or two, he would have easily beaten it. The reason for this was that he was known for going all in on the daily doubles and quickly raking up the totals. He also holds the record for biggest single game total in Jeopardy! history. He won the 2019 Tournament of Champions $250,000 grand prize. He also received $250,000 for participating in the 2020 Jeopardy! Greatest of All Time Tournament. Holtzhauer had previously won $58,333.33 in 2014 on The Chase, one-third of a $175,000 jackpot split among his three-person team. He also appeared on 500 Questions, but did not win anything. On Jeopardy!, he always appeared smug and was always the one to throw a quick barb to other competitors, especially during the Greatest of All Time tournament. But he backed up his wit more times than not, including just when you think he doesn't know the answer, he gets it right and rakes in the money. 2. Brad Rutter I was working at a record store when I was first on the show, and uh, winning a bunch of money on Jeopardy! actually gave me the chance to get into show business and uh, pursue my dream there. Believe it or not, Brad Rutter has been the holder of the biggest game show winner title multiple times in his life thanks to his numerous times on Jeopardy! It was only recently that he was knocked to number two, but don't let his placement take away from how incredible Brad Rutter is as a competitor. For example, when it comes to the bulk of his winnings, that would be Jeopardy, where he made his name and got his fame for being so darn good. Despite being number two on this list, he still holds the record for the most money made on Jeopardy in history with over $5 million total. He made $5 million on Jeopardy. Rudder's total includes his cash winnings and cars from his initial appearance on Jeopardy in 2000, $100,000 in 2002's Tournament of Champions, two separate $1 million prizes, one for winning the Million Dollar Masters Tournament in 2002, and one for winning the Battle of the Decades in 2014, $2.1 million during the Ultimate Tournament of Champions in 2005, 200,000 for finishing third in the 2011 Jeopardy! IBM Challenge, and one third of a $1 million prize for winning the 2019 Jeopardy! All Stars Games, split between him and his Team Brad teammates David Madden and Larissa Kelly. He also received 250,000 for participating in the 2020 Jeopardy! Greatest of All Time Tournament. The 100K that he won on Million Dollar Mind Game in 2011 was a portion of a $600,000 prize that was split between six contestants. One of the great ironies of Brad Rutter is that in the Greatest of All Time tournament, he didn't even win a single game, which is odd considering he was basically Ken Jennings' kryptonite every other time they played together. Still, he's one of the best of all time, and it would take another big tournament for him to lose his record on top of the Jeopardy! leaderboards. 1. Ken Jennings I'm Ken Jennings, and I hold the record for the longest winning streak in Jeopardy! history. Just so we're clear, when it comes to a list like this, Timing most definitely is everything. To that end, the top spot goes to the one and only Ken Jennings, thanks in large part to his recent stint on Jeopardy's The Greatest of All Time tournament. But let's rewind for a second. Ken Jennings had anything but a typical childhood. And to prove this, he was born in Washington, but grew up in Seoul, South Korea, thanks to his father being an international lawyer. The reason he got into Jeopardy was because it was one of the few things that was shown on Armed Forces Network. And so he started to watch it and love it and decided to become a sponge of knowledge as he noted during the greatest of all time tournament. He would stay inside and read things and just absorb anything he read. When it came time to go into Jeopardy for the first time, he was in luck because before him, Jeopardy had a five day rule in which contestants couldn't go longer than that. 
but they ended that just before Jennings came on, allowing him to do a still Jeopardy record of 74 straight wins on the show, which at the time did give him the all-time record. But then Brad Rutter beat him in the Ultimate Tournament of Champions to go on to the number two slot. But that didn't stop Jennings from keeping going. He played other game shows like Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, in which he won $500,000 and admitted that if he went for the $1 million question, he would have gotten it right. He also won $100,000 from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in Grand Slam. But to seal the deal and be the holder of the biggest game show winnings ever, he had to beat not just Brad Rutter, but James Holtower in the greatest of all time tournament. And he did it in style. All told, and thanks to that extra $1 million he got, Ken Jennings has earned $5,223,414. And you all thought that you couldn't earn real money from game shows. Technically speaking, Jennings can earn more, but given all of his successes, it would have to be something pretty big to get him to do another game show. Not that I blame him. So what do you think? What do you think about these amazing game show winners? Are you impressed by how much money these people have won? Do you wish you could go on a game show so you could win this much money? <laughs> and which game show would you like to be on to test your skills? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.